The IRS, when they question you, you are guilty and you have to prove your innocence. I've been a CPA for almost 10 years now, been through a bunch of audits with clients, and when you have the right documentation going through an audit, it's like a hot knife through butter. The auditor says, oh, next, 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 and before you know it, you have a no change audit, which means you won and you don't have to worry about anything. What do I need to keep? People think they need this big manila envelope full of paper, and let's be honest, the ink starts to fade after like six months, and most audits happen at least one to two years after the fact, and if the paper's faded, the IRS can be like, well, this looks like a blank piece of paper, so disallowed. So this client, they took a picture of the receipt with their phone and it said Chewbacca one on there. And then they actually had that. The auditor said, well, how can you write off this Halloween costume? Oh, no, no, it was actually for a roll. So they had a copy of the receipt and then a copy of the contract that they signed. And the auditor said, oh yeah, you clearly bought it for that roll. And it was all because they had documentation. They put a reason there. They had the contract and they had a copy of the receipt and the IRS, like I said, hot knife through butter. They said, oh, next. And that was actually a no change audit. And that happened, I think, probably sometime around 2016, 2017. And just having the right documentation helped them win that audit with ease. You really only need two tools that you're gonna be using in your business to keep documentation. One is gonna be QuickBooks. You can download that. We're gonna have a link in the description for that. But you can download that accounting software. That's gonna track all of your expenses anytime you swipe your credit card, your debit card, money comes in, money goes out. QuickBooks tracks it for you. The second one is gonna be this handy thing, we all have it, um, a smartphone. I have an iPhone, whatever it is from five years ago. Some of us have iPhone 14s. As long as it has a camera on there and can connect to the internet, this will allow you to take pictures of any receipts that you have. You take a picture of the receipt, QuickBooks automatically locates it to that transaction, and that's it. You can take a picture, throw it out, and you're done. I've been through plenty of audits with digital receipts, and the IRS accepts those just as much as any paper copies. So I'll give you an example. They're gonna select you for audit and they're gonna say, okay, see that charge to Staples? We don't believe that's deductible. You need to show us how it's deductible. I know it's not right. I know it's not the constitution, but it's the system that we have. So maintaining those records, right? You're not, they're not gonna take your word for it. They wanna see proof. So what you should be doing every time you buy something, you wanna get a copy of the receipt or a contract. So let's say you go to Staples to buy office supplies. You should be swiping your business credit card or debit card, right? get a receipt from Staples, take a picture of it on your phone. On the receipt, you wanna write what it's for, short description. It could just be office supplies for employee. And as long as you put a description on there, you're gonna be golden. The IRS is gonna say, oh, easy enough. And the nice thing about technology with the app is, that receipt for $5, you take a picture of it, you upload it, QuickBooks will then ask you, say, hey, is this $5 receipt this expense? And you just click yes. You don't have to worry about trying to find it, drag and drop it, QuickBooks does it for you. The best records that any business owner or taxpayer is gonna maintain is simply a copy of the contract that you sign and a copy of the receipt for charging your card. So for example, let's say you're gonna hire editors, right? And you're gonna pay them you know, with your business credit card or business debit card, wherever it's gonna be. You wanna keep a copy of their contract outlining what's gonna be done and then a copy of the receipt. So for example, if you pay them with Square, Square is gonna send you a receipt as the business owner purchasing those services, keep a copy of the receipt, keep a copy of the contract, upload it to QuickBooks, and it's gonna match it for you. That's literally all you have to do. And you can literally throw the paper copy away. If you're going to a restaurant, you wanna have basically four things. A copy of the receipt, a time and date, which is on the receipt, an itemized list of food that was bought, and then you wanna have a short descriptive sentence. Business meeting with partner to discuss new business. Something like that, take a picture, done. Back and I'm better than ever. Whoa. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen them. Yeah. All of those times getting severed. I told them.